No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I'm in here with YG and a few members of his uh, his squad. How you doing? I'm solid. What up, bro? What's popping? Feeling good, man. You straight? Oh, super straight. Yeah, you look like an MMA fighter or something. Do I really? Uh, oh, man. He came in here. He, tur- <laughs> he turned the roast hey, on as soon as the <laughs> camera goes on. All right, let's see what this is about to be like. <laughs> Hello, no, fuck with you, man. Oh. Pop, we, got, we, we got D3 in the building. Mitch Day Salon in the building. Yes, I feel like 400 D3 opened up a little bit since the last time I seen him. I, I felt like your, your, your charisma and your humor didn't come through as much last time, but see, now you've been more yourself. Last time I was off lean, and I was on oh, some other, you feel me? And I was scared for you using my hood. You mm. tried to make sure, like, I don't look back, you know? Because he set me up on a fucking crash dummy mission. He sends me to the hood to, to meet up with you, and then I get there, and you're like, yo, we're going we're gonna to cook crack for the vlog. <laughs> now, <laughs> hey, for the record, it wasn't really crack, but it's still, like... It was crack. A lot of people who watched the video didn't necessarily know that. And YG, like, engineered this. So, like, this is how he treats his artists. He's like, yo, we're going to send Adam 22 to the trenches and have him film a felony. Wasn't, hey. that, wasn't that cool, though? Good luck. Yeah, it was pretty you know cool. You yeah. saying? That's I tell all my people. Just don't get caught. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's good. Amen. Okay, so we, we, we know D3 a little bit. Day Salon next. Tell me a little bit how you, how you guys met. You guys met in the club? Yeah. The booty club or the regular club? Uh, the booty club. Well, she used to dance at the booty club. Mm-hmm. She hates it, but I don't like... Yeah. <laughs> this was Crazy a couple girl. years ago. This was before OnlyFans, right? Yeah. Oh, God. Crazy oh, girls, man. man. I always drive by that place. Crazy girls and only yeah. fans is the best shit ever, right? You put those two together, you got yeah, it made. It's like... Crying. Wait, <laughs> crying. <laughs> tell, tell me about you meeting him. What was that like in the booty club? What was his vibe? Regular, lit, comp, the nigga, drunk as fuck, you know? <laughs> He's vibing. Yeah. You know? I, mean, I mean, not everybody yeah. knows me. When you in a club, you vibing. You at strippers, you throwing money. It is what it is. Like my bad. No, I'll play it. Everybody know. Everybody know. <laughs> I used to the body. Oh, God, you be lit. It is what it is. But nah, he was cool. It was just some regular, like, approach. Like, you know, we both from the same city. What's the mm. deal? Cool. All right, I'm going to go back to work. And you were like, I rap? No, I wasn't rapping at the time. Oh. I wasn't rapping at the time. It was just like a mutual, hey, nigga, I'm from the same city. What's up? Right. That's and, it. And then he said... Listen, I'm going to write these bars for you, and we're going to make this money. Nah. No. <laughs> no, that's not how that went. Nah, you burned. Look at this MMA fighter. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you burned. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Never. That's crazy. <laughs> Never. She be writing her own shit. Oh, okay. God. FYI. That's good to know. Go Thank look at the uh, credits. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Kind of ball me on here. Okay, I'm just, okay. It's a question. You know, right. this is There's a history of this in the rap game. See, if you want to know about if somebody wrote a song, you got to go look at the credits on the songwriter uh, oh God, you on the publishing see, side because you're going to see all type of different names. I'm from the streets. I've never done that. You from the streets? Well, a <laughs> <us> street. They <laughs> take me <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah, like I was saying, you know. Look, just look at the credits. Just Google it, bro. Oh, okay. I gotta. I, I've never Googled. Yeah, I got. I gotta start looking yeah, up right. who's on sign. No, I Google, but I you never go looked up Google to look at your show. I you honestly don't know how to fucking look up who wrote on a song. So I'm in the people will be like, oh, this dude and this dude wrote on this song. I just take their word for it. Oh, okay. That's bullshit. But you're in the music that. industry in a way that I don't think I am. As nah, you can see, you have three artists here. No, nah, you there. You be interviewing all the artists and shit. You in the music business, dog? Yeah, but I'm more in the YouTube business, not the the music business as much. You. you know. Anyway, okay. So you're how you, a YouTuber, for real. Okay, okay. How you feel about that? Get your money. It's popping. That is you like an edgy YouTuber. Though. You ain't corny and shit. So you. Good. Hey, hey, not corny. Thank you very much, Laura. <laughs> hey. Laura's applauding me at least. Wait. So how do you guys take it from? You're cool. You're in this club. To you're signed to my label, and I believe in you enough to to get behind your career. Oh, uh, like for me, it's a vibe thing. It's a music thing. And it's um it's a swag thing, you know? Mm. And then like if you a street nigga, like, you really gotta be a street nigga. If you're not, then it's like, nah, I can't fuck with you because you not really a street nigga, you mm. know? Or if you like, if you um you claiming if you claiming a title but you really not that title, I like I don't fuck with you. Like I can't really take it there with you. We could be cool and, and all that type of shit, but But you believe that she had that? She is. She fresh out of the strip club. Mm. Shit, when I met her and she started doing music, like, so she that. Right. You know what I'm saying? She was the hot shit in the strip club. Really? You were running it? 
I wouldn't say running it, but I was getting my money. I was one of the top for oh. sure. Hello. Oh God! <laughs> what niggas came to see me for sure? They knew my like name. All the niggas know her. <laughs> they knew my you name. They like her. They know her. They couldn't get her. Yeah, they couldn't get mm. her. Like Amen. she, like she, like speak highly about that. All these niggas be on me, but they can't get me. Like mm. she speak highly about that. You know I what I'm saying? Like my nigga Mitch right here. He got the bitches. <laughs> yeah. So where did Mitch come from? Tell me all about Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, he be in and out of relationships and shit. My oh, wow. <laughs> so you're messy. <laughs> Tell us more, man. Hell no. Hey, my bad, bitch. I'm, you. A, hey, I'm just a typical young man and, you know, successful young man in L.A. That's it. Uh-huh. So in other words, you got like a hundred different bitches on speed dial. Nah. Is there I'm still just, speed dial? Nah, I just, no. I be having my, my relationships sometimes, you know? Right. When you, yeah, he you, trying to be respectful and you, shit. You got to respect it. You've learned from your mentor here. He, he got a messy... Life in that way too, right? No, my shit is real respectable, you know. My <laughs> <laughs> no, shit is respectable. For sure. Yeah, my shit respectable, dog. <laughs> right. You I know. Mean, <laughs> respect. So, but where, where are you from, and like, how did you guys meet? She was born in Texas, raised in Arizona. Okay. Uh, shit, I made a beat for him, and that's how we ended up getting cracking the shit. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he produced on one of my tapes a long time ago. Then uh, he came back around. Producing and then uh, he feel me. He was playing records and he was like singing this shit on records. And me and the homies was like, man, you be an artist, you know. I'm good. But he he write, produce, make beats. You know what I'm saying? Do his artist shit. He on some modeling shit. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Nah. Yeah. Then my young nigga D three fresh out the Knicks. How the hell did you guys even actually link up though? I don't think we ever actually went into that. Well, the homie Psych, Psych. Psych okay. 800 over there, the black Psycho. nigga with the dreads. <laughs> the other nigga, there's two uh, nigga with dreads. Chicken one little. got the short one. Nah, that's that's, that's Booker T over there. Psych, nah, you know what I'm that's saying? My, that's you my feel me? That's the homie from the hood. <laughs> you know, he be on his A&R, you feel me, A&R on the streets and shit. So every time he, he, he come past a young artist, you know what I'm saying, that he, he fuck with, right. he send him my way. And, um... He put me on D3, and I'm on his page. I'm like, yeah, I fuck with this nigga energy, like the songs he was making and all that. And um, I met him and shit, and I found out he can really rap. So I'm like, oh, yeah, come on, we finna turn this shit up. B team, red team, hey. soul business, you know? That's what's up. I feel what you are saying. Um, <laughs> I feel what you are saying. But how much of it is image? Because I feel like... Or like, you know, just star power in general, because with her, like I do definitely see what you're saying in the sense that she has like a certain charisma. Like we've all seen five million stupid ass girls trying to rap and it is just so embarrassing. Not, not just like girls in general, but like girls who are like, they're hot, so they feel like, oh, now I can be a rapper. It's hard to like make that connection though. Most of them are trash. I hear you. It's a lot of ones out there that's popping though. They, you know what I'm saying, doing their yeah. shit, yeah. Yeah, you can't write somebody off nowadays cause, just because of how they came up. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Did you always want to do the label thing since early in your career? Yeah, I was always moving like like label vibes, you know what I'm saying? I had like clicks and I was like the main nigga of the clicks and mm -hmm. I used to make sure I used to just involve everybody with whatever I was doing. And you know, my track record, I put I put a lot of niggas on, you know, like like the homies and shit. Like, so it was all like, you feel me? I, like, I just had that vibe the whole time. Mm. So, um, yeah, this is something that I always wanted to, like, really do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard, though, when you're an artist, it, you like, to have a real label and mm. have people take you serious and shit. So, you know, you got to put in some real time and energy and work. Right. Like how do you, how involved do you get? Like, are you listening to, like, every? are you in the studio, like, really working with them on music and stuff? Because you could take it to that level or you can just kind of sign somebody, give them a chain and some money and be like, all right, figure it out. No, 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 no. We in the studio oh, yeah. with him. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like he's you're overbearing. <laughs> no, because you know you've always. That's the interesting thing <laughs> about YG. Let me just talk about YG for a minute. The interesting thing about YG is you like came in the game street rapper, but then you seem like you always knew how to make big hits and were always down to do so. A lot of rappers like they can spit a dope verse, but they never really like cross over to like really making a hit. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah. I mean. I, I don't know, that's a part of my situation, you know? Mm. Yeah, but no, nah, we in the studio with it. We in the studio, you know, I, I'm i a for sure get my input. I'm going to tell you some shit how this, some shit whack. I expect you to do the same, you know what I'm saying? For me, 
I might not listen to you, depending on who you is. Mm. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we in the studio with it, dog. I'm involved. Mm. Yeah. Is he like? Does he want like final say on your decisions of like songs and stuff, or is, is like how controlling is he? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because I, I, I hear stuff about certain like producers and stuff who want to really get, like Kanye making people rewrite verses no, like, 20 times and shit. He, oh, Bloods, we rewrite verses. Hey, oh really? Okay. Yeah. I'm rewriting. I'm rewriting verses. No, Hit him like up. It, I rewrote my shit. Damn, I'm rewriting verses. Uh huh. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I asked the homies like, hey, this shit weak. Niggas be like, yeah, bro, you come harder than that. I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. I was feeling the same way. I go rewrite that shit, my, you know what I'm saying? So that's a part of the game. You got to be willing to do that. Mm. Yeah, you can't feel no type of way about it. Now, if you really believe a verse is hard and you like, no, nigga, this shit fire, nigga, you got me fucked up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have some of them, like, conversations sometimes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, shit turning into arguments and shit. Right. Yeah. Who do you listen to? You listen to Mustard? Um, Yeah, for sure. Are there any other like producers that you feel that real close connection with? Um, yeah, I mean it's a couple, you know what I'm saying, but but it ain't really like I don't really work with too many people. Mm. I don't know, like I'm trying to do better at that, but it just be like like I don't know, my shit just be a certain it's a certain sound, it's a certain swag, a certain tempo. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it, you know. Mm. But um. Like, when I'm in the studio, like, I'm willing. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just rap on some shit. It may never come out, but I'm going to rap. Mm. Yeah. That one time I went to the studio with you, you had a couple of your artists in there. And I, I at that time, and I'm not being specific about what time, so hopefully this is all good to say, but there was, like, a relatively solid stream of really good-looking women coming in and out of that <laughs> studio. All the time, my nigga. <laughs> and he's just, like, having these nice little conversations with him. I could tell he's just... Swagging on him, just buttering him up a little bit. I'm like, man, if I could hear what he was saying, I would probably learn a lot about women right there. <laughs> like he's doing something over there that I'm not. I'm I don't think I'm bringing that to the table. Whatever this conversation is over here in the corner. No, the vibe in the studio is everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta have whatever you feel like you need to have in there to get the shit going. The records, right? The energy, you know. You smoking dope in the studio? Smoking dope, gas, YGOG. Yeah, we got that on deck in the studio. Okay. That's the only dope we smoke. That's the dope I'm talking about. That's the dope I'm talking about. Hey, man. Hey, man. That's the only dope we smoke. Oh, God. God, I'm there. Oh, shit. You can't smoke dope no more? I was to say, hey, what? <laughs> no, you smoke you dope around us. We gonna have to beat your ass. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking about nigga. Nigga ain't gonna make it out a lot. Nigga, what? It's, 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 it's only studio. it's certain yeah. drugs. It's certain drugs you can do, and, mm. you, and it's we ain't gonna bother you. But then when you start doing them other gang drugs and shit, we on your ass. We tripping. You like we tripping on you. We gonna probably try to fuck you up, or we gonna cut you off. You can't come around no more, nigga. Mm. That's enough. Yeah. Right. Well, so okay, what like what's your threshold for that though? Like if D three tells you like, hey, I've been popping hella perks lately oh, and shit. Me? I mean, the are, perks. Are, are you gonna step in and be like, yo, you gotta watch out? I see people no, get fucked see, up. Oh my god! Now, look, so the perks. This is you know what I'm saying. This is how I feel about it. The perks is fire as fuck. I fell in love with perks when I got shot. Like they mm. gave me perks and I got hooked. And I start tweaking, I had to stop and shit. But um, but um, like the purse is straight, right? But you feel me? That's why I tell D3, this nigga young. So like you ain't even 21 yet, right? I'm 20. Yeah, this nigga, so he doing I ain't gonna put all this business out there, but Man, he doing I, it. I didn't did a perk before. Uh, but, but he, he, but he like a single he perk. twenty. He in a when teenage the body, perk, like that like, nigga, like his body. body. <laughs> he nah, doing perks in like a teenage I, body, like no, no, no. Listen, <laughs> I'm a grown ass man. So it like, so it's like, bro, you can't, you ain't ready for all that, my nigga. Like, slow down, dog. Nah, it, it's really, bro. Your body weight and all that matter when you taking perks. Like, I don't think like everybody like. That's my my size and my weight. I want a dead homie. You not taking. You not really taking no perk. Me like, and him a, could tell you that when you're 20 getting fucked up versus when you're like older getting fucked up is a very different thing. Yo, body is like your body tolerance. It matters though. You feel me? Like when I did it, it was like. It wasn't no, it wasn't boo. I feel like I was going. You feel me? Yeah. He felt like he was gonna pass out and shit. See, nigga, about to get up out of here. But you know that milk calm you down. Milk? Yeah. 
Okay, kids, if you're gonna pop a perk, kick look, some milk around. Yeah? If you feel, <laughs> hey, hey, if you feel like you smoke too much or something, no, God, get that milk. I hey, see, look, bro. <laughs> I what? see, look. Drink <laughs> milk, I'm telling you. These oh. niggas crazy. Milk that shit, look. In less than 30 minutes, you can ask Hundo. You can ask Tony Hundo. Because he was in the car. I'm going to turn the trash. heater off and turn it on. Milk is horrible. Take Try me to the I'm GS. Milk, Somebody will get some milk. Oh, God. Try some good I shit. drunk some milk and I went to the studio after that. I was fine. But you know, before that, I'll tell like, take me to the hospital, bro. See, he a project milk. nigga. They like. Yep. He said, drink he some he milk. Said, he said, drink oh, some milk. Yeah, and homie, the milk. That milk going to get you straight. I don't know what it do, but. That milk. That shit calmed me down. I ain't going to lie. I've been too fucked up before and I never thought to try milk, so I can't even tell you that you're wrong. Next time you do it, try the milk and then holla at me. Almond milk, oat nah, milk. They got a lot of good that. different types of milk. You, you got to drink milks. the shit. You, the, the two percent. You got to drink that low fat shit. You talking about cow milk? It's mm. some. It's something in that shit. Dude. I don't it's know. Four hundred is now. That's cow nut, nigga. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, on my mom, on my mama, there ain't no cow nut. Wow! <laughs> <Bye. laughs> <Bye. laughs> hey, what you hey, it might be, it me. might be blood, it might be cow blood and that shit and all that other shit they talking about, but cow nut. That's worse, bro. Ah oh, man, man. But what you was about to say? Was about to say. I don't know. I just got kind of distracted by the, no, the milk. He said four hundred something. Go. Oh, uh, four hundred is go. not just a label, but now also provides nutritional information to the we youth. Should. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so sure, you know, we care. Okay, so do you feel like you. now hey. you're? Oh. Right, do you got feel like you, now bro. you're actually ready to fully like be <laughs> a, a label director or whatever? Like, do you feel like you've you've kind of like reached a point in your life where you're ready to, to put more of your time into these artists and stuff instead of focusing on yourself so much? I mean, I'm focused on I'm focused on everything. It's like it ain't. It's like, see, this is my thing. I want to be in business and sign like artists that's like they already on go. All I got to do is come help them with certain shit and just let them get my platform and all this type of shit. You feel me? Because it's like I'm I'm still an artist and I'm doing everything I'm doing. So it's like you can't need me to like baby you because mm -hmm. then it, that ain't going that ain't gonna work. You got to. You feel me? I could meet you halfway. You meet me halfway, I'll meet you halfway. We gonna come together. It's gonna be a thing, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think nobody want no, don't no label or artist, or nobody want to sign somebody that they got a baby. Like, cause if that's the case, I mean, look, it's labels that sign a gang of artists and they sign them and you never hear nothing mm -hmm. from them artists. Cause you feel me? They like that. Like they probably waiting on the label to do whatever they feel like they gonna do. But um, I'm focused though. And I got people, I got a team, you know mm. what I'm saying? I got Zenova over there. She really, like, you know what I'm saying, general manager of the label. She handle all the back end shit, admin shit, you know what I'm saying, making sure everybody on time. All the shit that you probably think I'm handling, I'm not handling that shit. I don't shit. think you're handling that. I yeah. assume you got a team that is doing the, the I'm paperwork. I'm music yeah. and I'm lifestyle. Wow. I don't want to talk about <laughs> shit else. Really? So you don't like to be bothered too much about the business side of things? No, like, I, like my thing is, look, I'm cool with having a conversation about it. Like, look, we doing this like this, this like this, this like this, this like this, and this like this, and I don't never want to talk about it again. Hmm. Like, you feel me? The blueprint is there. You have to really believe in your team to assume you know, that shit is fact. still going to get done. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Do you feel like you need that space in order to still be creative? Hell yeah, bro. If you're doing Niggas paperwork doing all, all day, it's going to fuck up nah, the flow, No, I can't. Right? That's not for me. Hmm. I mean, it's cool. Like, Nick, like, Nick can get it done, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? We well, like, we got a lot. Of, like, you a dad too, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I got to do that shit. I got YG artist shit. I got D3 artists, music, Mitch music, model shit, Dave Sulan, her whole shit, 400 clothing, 400 sneakers, fucking 400 cannabis, TV and film. You know what I'm saying? All type of problems with this person, this bitch, my mama and them, my little brother. All, you know what I'm saying? This a lot, like my 24 hours, is, you know what I'm saying? This shit complicated, you know? Mm, definitely. Yeah, I got the dogs at the house, two big ass Dobermans. Got to make sure they straight, they eat chicken and steak. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I just seen uh, <laughs> big chicken. I'm talking <laughs> big chicken. You know, chicken. Oh, yeah, they eat chicken steak like that. I just seen uh, D Max Alope be feeding it. fucking Popeyes fried chicken to his dogs. No, my dogs. They, they eat can't like, do that, right? No, my yeah, dogs eat can. like mother shit. Right? You gotta eat raw, raw shit. Nigga, my dogs. No, nah, hell no. My yeah. dogs eat. God, it's good. It's good. Man, it's good crazy. My dogs eat cooked, seasoned nah, chicken, oh, <laughs> blackened. That shit be spicy. They See, I heard this that like celebrities be paying mad money for like really, really high. 
quality meat for their animals. No, I, my dogs eat what I eat. They eat my leftovers. For real. Yeah, dog bag. <laughs> wow. Doggy bag. Doggy bag. <laughs> but I'm bumped. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, where's Slim 400? Slim 400 still cool? Slim 400, he outside. Slim 400 outside. He probably on a block or something. Right. It's like, what's Slim at? He on a block. It's nothing but bloods. <laughs> Or <laughs> yeah, nice walk. Yeah, outside. You guys talk much? Yeah, we cool. We straight. Okay. <laughs> well, Why you ask me that? Slim four hundred. He was just signed to YG. I just wanted to know uh, no, if you were going to still keep working no, with Slim him. No, Slim wasn't signed to YG. We from the same hood, from the same block. So, like, like I told Slim, like we had, we talked about this all the time. I said, bro, don't like you don't got to sign to me. You mm. you got you got me already. Like you don't got to sign, bro. You, right. you four hundred. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you feel me? Because I told someone, like, bro, you can go do your thing and do it different. You ain't got to be signed to me. Like, you you already got me. You my homie. Like, mm. So, like, like why am I sign you? You know what I'm saying? So that was the whole thing with Slim. And then he, like, he got it at the end. Like, he like, yeah, because now he doing, what it, he doing whatever he want to do, how he want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Well, that's good. Shout out Slim. Yeah. Did that scare you when he got shot a year or two ago? Yeah, 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 for sure. That was a bad one. You got hit like 10 times. Yeah, on me. Yeah. You got to be careful out here. Yeah, you got to stay dangerous. What What do you mean when you say that? Stay dangerous? Sometimes that doesn't oh, sound like the best advice. No, I uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pull the toolie out in that interview. No, no, no. Why'd you got legal problems? I know you don't want to do that. Hey, don't get caught with it. Mm. You did? Guy, you tell me that all the time. On a gang, don't get caught. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. There's a guy here who seems like he's probably handling most of your security concerns. <laughs> I <thought> that was gang. <laughs> oh, you know we got the streets on lock. Them shit sold up. Mm. You dig? For sure. Yeah, B team, B team, B team. Um, how do you feel about the streets at this point? Like, the is streets? that is, is it still like something where? Do you really give a fuck about the opinion of the streets? Or or do you feel like you're almost getting to the point where it's like, I've been and done this shit. I don't really give a fuck about all this, you know? Yeah, no. I mean, like the streets. Like when you a rapper, you an artist, right? And you and, and, and you want to stay, like, of course you're going to elevate and you're going to um, turn it to, like your whole shit just going to, Elevate and it's gonna transform to other shit, and you're gonna venture off and you'll become the icon, a businessman, the wooty wooty bop. But if you still making rap music and you know what I'm saying, you moving around, you need the streets, you know what I'm saying, because that's who you're talking to. You're talking to the streets, you're talking to the clubs, you know what I'm saying, you gonna be you hitting the clubs, your shit got a crack in the clubs, it got a crack in the streets. So the streets matter forever, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't be listening to nobody telling me like, oh, why is he leading? Stop worrying about the streets. It's like, then what, go pop? Like, mm. what I'm gonna do, make some pop music? It's like, you know what I'm saying? So, but have you as had far as people just trying about, to get you to be on that pop label thing? people can't tell me shit. <laughs> Niggas know can't tell YG nothing. Mm. It's not the label. Right. Not like that, but it's like I created my whole shit. Niggas didn't believe in what I was doing when I was doing it. And then it, something happened and it clicked. And then it's like, yeah, it worked. So it's like, don't tell me nothing. Because mm. motherfuckers wasn't believing in it at first, you know? You know, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> Game said recently that he held the West Coast down. He was basically the king of the West Coast for 10 years. Seems like it was pretty much mostly true. And then it was pretty much... YG, like you were the next big star of the West Coast during a time period where there were not a lot of big stars emerging from the West Coast. Nowadays, it's kind of a lot of popping artists from the West Coast. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, that was regular. Like, it was, yeah, yeah, that's a fact. It was like, it was regular. Mm. So it's just common knowledge that game was kind of the king and then you sort of For came sure. along too? Yeah, that was a fact. If you go look at, if you can go look at, you know what I'm saying, no shit, like the music and the timeline. And that's what it's going to look like. Mm. And then everything else out there. Mm. Who do you look at as, like, inspiration? Or who, who do you, like, do you think about someone like Jay-Z as, like, the, the ultimate person? who's Because, I, like, I see where you're at in your career that it's like, all right, I've had this dope-ass career and I'm still going to keep making music, but I really want to build something that's much bigger than just myself. Yeah. Um, I for sure look at Jay Z as like inspiration. I look at uh, Hov, I look at Dre, 
um, Snoop, um, Ice Cube, um, Diddy. Mm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody like like like. You know what I'm saying? We fall in love with the music and we do the music thing and, and, and all that. But at the end of the day, all the people that I just named, they made ma majority off their money off of branding shit, mm. off of whatever brand, alcohol brand, clothing line brand, shoe, whatever, TV and film, boom, it was that. So, like, um, like when my shit started moving, like, my record deal, like, was fucked up for 10 years straight. I just... I just got out of that shit like some months ago. Really? So like, yeah, hell yeah, my shit was all bad. I ain't, like I never owned none of my music from, I put out from fucking my last album back, you know what I'm saying? I ain't own nothing. So I just got out of that. But like the fact that I was in some fucked up deal, you know what I'm saying? That shit like made me like start thinking about other shit. Cause I'm like, I ain't making no money off none of my music. Oh, wop, I gotta do other shit. So it turned me into like this little whatever you want to call me, like business nigga. They right. got a brand. That that's must doing be all type of shit. Is that fucking defeating and like hard to like stay motivated with the music shit when you feel like I'm doing all this shit to push the music, but I'm not seeing the money from the music that I feel like I deserve? Yeah, no, but like that shit hard. It was hard. It was fucked up. But I did a lot of like sh stealing and robbing and shit when I was young. So. I look at it like that was my karma, like them motherfucking white people in them offices stole from me. Mm. And it was my karma because I used to rob shit like a lot. Like, We're talking about all the Asian families? that I used to rob, bro. <laughs> like it was crazy. Like So like how I look at it, it was like, okay, this is my karma. YG, you know how I feel to get stole from, nigga. Don't do no more stealing. All right. Thank you, God. I got you. Mm. <laughs> that's interesting. No, that's how I really took it. Like I, I dealt with it like that. Do mm. you think everybody has to face their karma in that way? I yeah. mean, shit. Yeah. I, I mean, if you believe in it, you believe in it. Mm. Yeah. D3, you got some bad stuff coming your way. I know you was in the streets doing all kinds of wild <laughs> shit, right? <laughs> hey, shit, shit be happening. Like, you feel me? That don't. You feel me? It just, it just happened. But it ain't stopping nothing, you know? Right. I feel you. Gotta keep living. So what what vision do you see for Day's career? And and you know it's very different marketing Day a woman. Salon, right? Let them know your vision, man. Shit. What's the vision? My vision. Well, <laughs> I mean I'm gonna start off, you know, letting people know who I am. Honestly, start off rapping, showing them who I really am as a person, city I'm from, shit like that. And then I want to eventually, like you know, just transition into some bigger universal shit, you know, where not only the hood gonna feel me, but everybody gonna feel me, mm. you know? Interesting. What advice does uh, YG here give you on using your sexuality to market yourself? And that's that's all the advice he be giving me, <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> he be, oh, nah, he be, like, be, he be like, bro, why you not on your sexy shit? Why you not doing this? Why you not yeah, on like, this? What the fuck? You gotta like, like, do this, do that. I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm getting older, but at the same time, man, I am who I am. You're not getting older, aren't you? Like 23 or some shit? I'm about to be 24 this oh, year. Oh, you're so old, Jesus. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm, God, God. I'm young, but I'm an old little soul, so I'll be trying to like... Oh God, I done grew up fast, so I'll be like, I'll be feeling like I'm here, but I feel like I'm fucking 30, so I gotta, I gotta remember I'm fucking young. Mm. So I'll be like, okay, you young, bro, like. Yeah, don't, don't declare yourself old snap before you're actually shit. old. And on God, yeah, on God, I have to get out of that shit. Girls that be old, but then she doing all the young shit. No. You gonna be 50, 60 oh years God. old in the club, like with the 25 no. year olds. Be at home. Like, what's up, boy? <laughs> 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 bro, get out of here. Get this old ass lady in the club. Never. Never. I was about to tell you, you gotta live that shit up right now, man. You gotta turn that shit up. I'm chilling. In I'm chilling. In terms of the sexual stuff, do you think that there's anything that's over the line and that could make it so that people won't take her serious as a rapper? I mean, like, don't be playing with your pussy on Instagram or like, on like, <laughs> like only fans, like literally like Abby. playing with it, like yeah. you can see it, but like everything else, tough. like, don't be like butt <laughs> booty hole ass naked and shit, but like, happening. like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the other little shit that they be doing, like, that's like considered like sex, sexy art, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause that shit looked at as like art now, like, yeah. it been yeah. art, you know what I'm saying? It, like, it just took a, um, a group of, uh, 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 a woman that people looked up to 
and respect it to really like Rihanna. Like when she do that type of shit, everybody like, oh my God, she's so beautiful, mm-hmm. she's so bad, and she is. But like before, people would be scared to do it, but then she like embraced it and took it and ran with it and made it like, no, this shit art. Like mm-hmm. now, now it's like it's cool, you know what I'm saying? So it's, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go. Take about, that and run with it. It's about how you present it, but did you yeah. fuck, did you fuck with the WAP video? Who the WAP video? Hell yeah, I fuck with the WAP video. That's crazy. And my daughters be saying that <laughs> shit, and I be like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but that's on that's on the game. I can't get mad because I'm out here talking about the same type of shit. Mm. So it's like, bro, this, this, you've been like, known to drop a booty record. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we grew up listening to that shit, so it's like, bro, it's regular. When you go through the YG catalog, it is kind of like that's like a whole subsection of all the music you've ever made is like the booty music, yeah. and the videos are like full that's on booty shit. tip drill shit. Yeah. You know? yeah. Would you rather make a song like that or a gangster song? It just depends on like <laughs> people love me for the ratchet shit like like they love me for it they be missing me like with the ratchet music but um like it just depend on the vibe it depend on the music that I'm getting it, it depend on the beats bro I'm gonna mm. play I'm gonna go off the beats you know what I'm saying so if a nigga can give me some shit I can I can do that too it's just gonna come it's nothing to think about I'm gonna hear the music and it's gonna come mm. you know do so, you um. Did you ever date Meg? Nah, me and Meg. That, that was in the Why tabloids. Why you thought we dated? Huh? Because it was in the tabloids. Like, look at this weird video of YG getting out of van with Meg. Remember nah, that? Nah, nah. Nah, I took Meg to the Louis store and shit. Sounds like you're dating. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, we was at... Nah, 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 nah. I'm just kidding. Nah. I would never even take a girl to the Louis store in my life, so I just, no. to me, that sounds like you're dating. <laughs> nah, Meg went in there. She brought all her shit. I brought my shit. Okay. I just, like... Like I know the people at the Louis though, so we got the VIP uh, uh, service and shit. So we just went to the Louis though, regular rap shit. Was that weird though to see it in the news? Like damn, like we just were hanging out and all of a sudden they're acting mm-hmm. like we're together. No, I never heard like we was together. Mm-hmm. I never heard that. Is it weird to be like so like to have the tabloids and all that shit like really obsessed with you? Does that bother you ever? Or are you just kind of like whatever? No, nah, that shit come with the. Uh, it come with the rap shit. It come with the music. Come with the fame. Mm. I hate when a motherfucking like when I'm out with my kids. When I'm out and I'm in the middle of a, a meal and I'm eating, and somebody be like, "Hey, bro, let me take a picture with you." I hate that. I want to smack somebody. Like, bro, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> like that shit crazy. Because you want that's what I hate. You want to be like, cool to all your fans, but then they're putting you in a position where you really like can't be cool. To them. Yeah, it's like, bro, you know? like you're not gonna go do that to your mama when she's sitting at the table eating her food. Like, mm. That's 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 rude, right? right. It's disrespectful. But you know, it was regular shit. Definitely. Do you um? Is that a 400 Snoop Dogg collab right there? Yeah. That's pretty. Like, tight. I just left the photo shoot with me and Snoop. Really? Yeah. How did that idea come about? Um, the homie design. On um, the homie Charlie, he like he the main design for 400. Um, black dude from L. <clears throat> from L. A. and shit. He uh he designed a collection for like summer or some, and he had a hoodie that had Snoop Dogg. That had an old Snoop Dogg image on it, and I'm like, bro, we can't use like we can't make this without right. snooping and proving it. And then I'm like, damn, we should just do a whole collab. And then I hit Snoop, I sent him the uh, design. He was like, cuz, cuz, let's do it, cuz, cuz, oh crap, cuz. And you feel me, Snoop? Like, how much money we can make, cuz? I'm like, probably like a million or two million. Now you like, cuz, oh crap. I'm like, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying, like, come on, cuz. Snoop yeah. burnt. <laughs> Snoop burnt out, dog. Right. Yeah. That's a legend. I know. That's a real legend. Yeah. Legend. legend. Snoop went, legend. And when you think about like somebody who's gracefully gone between all the different stages of their career, you know, he was like the young, wild ass gangster rapper, and then he's like now you he's like the old, you know, mm-hmm. pimp fucking legend in the game, and he never once ever seemed goofy or ever seemed like he was slipping in any way his whole career was pretty much immaculate oh, and he can Snoop go on Martha Lyle. Stewart he killed that shit too no, he's so Snoop, legendary Snoop everybody is a him fucking punk, like. Snoop a G I tell him come on now everybody know this like mm. Snoop a G dog so yeah 100% Snoop a real one and it, we don't got too many motherfuckers too many older legends on the west coast that's like Snoop who gonna let you pull up, give game, fuck with you, 
tell you how to move. Whatever you trying to do, Snoop going like he gonna give you something. He gonna give you some game. He gonna he gonna do something. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's the problem with like with the coast. We don't be having you know what I'm saying our idols that we grew up to. You know what I'm saying? Like show us the way. Like you got to be signed to him or something. Mm. You know, I don't know. It's just kind of territorial like that. Yeah, but yeah, Snoop one of them ones. That's why everybody fuck with him. Like how they fuck with him because yeah, he do that real big homie shit. Do they? Uh, anyone here ever hit you with the unk? No, but <laughs> she she be calling me G. Like she be like, "What's oh, up, bad, G?" Because I'm not gonna call you no Jizzle. That shit sound weird. Jizzle. <laughs> yeah, the homies everybody call me call Jizzle. Everybody call him Jizzle. I'm like, nah. I'm just gonna keep it at the G. But like G, G. Right. you a gangster. But my name why G he though. Way older than mm. me. I call no. him. <laughs> no. I, I, I say I say G to people no. like what up G? And they're like oh, occasionally I've had people well, get I mean, mad. Name, that's, that's a part of his name. It ain't like disrespectful. Yeah, no, that just sound like some old nigga shit. I was saying that to AD the other day. I'm like, you know you're gonna you're in trouble once people start hitting you with the unk. Because that means you're officially, you're no longer just like a young rapper now. All of a sudden. But you never know when it's going to happen. Hey, but it don't matter. You just got to embrace, you know what I'm saying, embrace life and take that shit out of it. Come, just make sure you, you know what I'm saying, you position yourself to keep getting money like you young. Mm. That's all that matters. For sure. Yeah, run the numbers up. But live your life. Have fun. Can you give me any additional details about the video shoot that you did with AD that got shot up? Because he's told me about it once or twice. But Why you want to talk about criminal activity? You bro? don't have to tell me who was shooting. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you got a badge? It sounds like it was a, a wild time. I just wanted a few details. No, nah, man, shit. Ask AD about that shit. We was in his hood. I AD, know. what happened? <laughs> oh, God. AD. Did you set us up? No, I'm playing. <laughs> you ever think about times like that? And you're like, damn, I can't believe I'm still still thriving, still alive. Like, there's been so many fucking crazy situations like that, right? Man, yeah. I was just talking to the homie about that shit the other day. Like, we've been through it. We've been through a lot of shit and got up out of that thing real smooth. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a blessing. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, for sure. What would be your advice to any of them if they sort of started to get into any sort of like beefing for, you know, not not beef. Obviously, you're going to have beef with people in your life, but beefing as part of the music, like using that as kind of a marketing tool to an extent or, or dropping songs about people, shit like that. You think it's wise? I mean, like, you know, like when you're rapping and you're doing music and you and you dealing with shit. You gonna talk about it in your songs? Like I didn't talk about a lot of niggas in my songs, but I don't ever make it to where it's like it sound like I'm coming for somebody. But when I be talking about hood shit and I'm talking about yeah, we just slid on the enemigos and the ops and all that. It's like like people be knowing. Like if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Mm-hmm. I'm not finna be going out there doing no rap this and shit. Cause like if it's smoke, it's really smoke with us. We ain't playing. Mm-hmm. You know. So, like, I'm going to tell the homies the same shit. Like, bro, I done told D3 that, like, we ain't doing none of that weird shit for the, for nothing, for the rap. No, we not on none of that. Nigga, we come, we trying to make hits. Hmm. We can move around. Nigga, get rich. Nigga, and have fun, nigga. All that rap beef and all that shit. We don't, we not rap beefing. We really beefing. Hmm. The homies going to get you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it's like... <laughs> We not we ain't even trying to do that. We bro, we chilling. We not we not on that. So you know what I'm saying? That's what I tell the homies. That's what I tell the homies that my niggas who I be with that I hang with, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like D three young niggas, like, bro, that's not cool. Like, we ain't doing none of that. Right. It's kinda of like a, a shortcut to like getting your couple million views, you know? Because there's yeah, like but a it certain... even, it's it's not even like bro, like I mean like like the younger generation, you feel me? They doing that shit a lot, and it's like, mm. it's like, we ain't grow up like that, so we 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 not with that, we against that. But the younger generation, they growing up like that, bro. They really on on Instagram, on live, talking to their ops, nigga. I'm about to hit toe block, and they really come hit they block and wet it up, like it's crazy. But mm. you know what I'm saying? That's the young generation, but we from the other. Shit, so we gonna pass the shit that we know on to the you feel me to the homies, and mm. it's just it's gonna help them because it's gonna keep you out of bullshit. Because you don't want to get in the get in the um situation and start making money, then you gotta go sit it down and do some jail time. Like 
like over some bullshit that you d didn't really have to do. Mm -hmm. Now, if you really gotta go lay somebody down or you gotta go do your shit, hey, you gotta handle your business. Mm. But Fugazi shit, rap shit for nothing, like it's that shit out. Now, if a nigga come diss you on a song, mm. we retaliate and we coming. <laughs> diss the nigga back. Right. For sure. You still waiting for that opportunity? I feel like you, 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 I would like to hear the YG diss song that you actually like really gave a fuck about. Like, was somebody diss me or me somebody, somebody that you back? considered kind of on your level that you really actually had some fucking shit to say about? That, that would be, you know, that, that would be fun. Yeah, I mean, it'd be fun for y'all because y'all watching, fans, but yeah. like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's going to be now? like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be different over here. Yeah, it's going to be a little different. <laughs> it's going to be real. I don't want to rap beef for nobody. We going to, you know what I'm saying? We trying to tear some shit up. Yeah. You know? Mm. Yeah, we ain't playing. I hear you. Yeah. So You got to feel me, though. Would you ever think about doing like a full? <laughs> oh, the game, bro. We not playing them games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, would, yeah, would, would you guys ever think about doing like a, a tape like with a lot of different artists that are on your label or, or some sort of like group project? Does that ever cross your mind? Yeah, that's what we just put out. Oh, like, okay. Like when is shit dropping? Uh, I don't know. Probably like next week. No, this shit got to drop tomorrow, bro. Laura? I mean, Monday or something. Laura's going to have a long yeah, night. Uh, yeah, cut this shit up, Laura. Fuck it up, girl. Yeah, we don't. Uh, yeah. It'll be all right. Fine. Yeah, no. Um, you know what I'm saying? We got the project out. You know what I'm saying? It got it got the artists on right here on it, and it got a couple other uh niggas we fuck with. You know what I'm saying? The homies fuck with. Uh -huh. Um, and this project was to um set them up for their solo projects because I had this plan for the label for the artists. Then COVID hit, mm -hmm. and they fucked up the plan and shit. So. Probably fucked up a lot of plans for you. I know, so I, you know, what I'm saying we decided to do a little, a little compilation project, and do shit like this, right? To uh, make up for that little bullshit. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. This is like, this is like when, remember, remember Dre, Fifty, and Eminem on the cover X, Double XL together. Yeah. That's that's what these vibes are. But okay. it's me, you, D3, Deshawn, and Mitch. Hell yeah. That's what's up. I, I got to be part of it. Would you yeah. ever sign a white rapper? Yeah, I would sign a white rapper, but you got to be crazy. Not me so much, but someone else. No, you got to be crazy, though. You got to be with that crazy shit. Really? Yeah. So you can never sign a rapper who was street certified? Like, if you if you just found Jack Harlow when he was 13, like that viral video that just came out the other day, would you be on it, even though he's not from where you're from? Oh, uh, I don't know. That's a good question. You're Eminem. Huh? You're Eminem. Yeah, I w I need somebody like an Eminem mm. who, who 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 with that shit. You know what I'm saying? They was around black people growing up, sniffed the coke with all the crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Does he make you do coke? What? This <laughs> <laughs> man crazy. Yo. Nah, 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 bro. I'm fucking. I'm fucking around. Shit. That's a fair question. Most thing I did was hit the YGOG. How was that? She had me on my ass. I ain't gonna, I'm talking about sitting down. You have to say that. You're signed to him. Nah, this ain't nah, you feel bro. me. I, I'm going to keep it a buck. 14, like, they ain't going to tell me no smut. Like, I done hit weed with the homies, and it was like, I ain't high. You feel me? Mm. Like, I'm just smoking just to smoke it. But the YGOG shit, like, it, you can look on the back of the, on the pack. It'll tell you how much TAC level is. It's some far we. Hmm. Interesting. But, okay, he's from an area that you very much are, uh, you know, associated with. But how much would you let the label shit intersect with the street shit? Like, if you found an artist that you thought was unbelievably talented and you could really make something out of them, but they're from an area that traditionally your side doesn't get along with or whatever, like, would you allow that to get in the way of music business shit? Um, I mean, if it wouldn't be no music business, if 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 our areas don't get along, it wouldn't be no business. Mm. You feel me? It, it wouldn't even that even that wouldn't even be a thought. Okay, you wouldn't even consider it. Nah, I don't think nobody out here that's from out here that's 
you know what I'm saying, live their life by the, you know what I'm saying, by the code, they not going to consider it. Mm. That's just regular. It ain't even, like, that's just regular. Mm. Like, it ain't even nothing to be mad about. Like, you just know certain shit is like, nah, can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I don't know why everybody just got oh, up and ran God. over there. Like, what's up? Like, what the <laughs> like, like, oh, like, 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 we all like, like what? Nigga, your footsteps. Oh, God, we all like, what? Nigga, you more than 10 footsteps. They were all moving as a unit together. I was like, what is going on here? That's like seeing a fight at school. Oh, God, they have you like, you're not about to just sit there. You walk in. Oh my God. Um, okay, I gotta ask you about her because I asked her about you. What happened with the Kamaya situation? She said she wanted to be off the label, so I let her off the label. Why what led to that? Like what why why do you think the relationship there didn't work out? I don't know, you know it's two sides to every story. Mm -hmm. So we just gonna she wanted to be off the label, so I let her off the label. Okay. Tight lip, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you think that one was awkward? I, we, we could keep going. Keep going. Shit. I mean, I got to bounce in a minute. Okay. Um, y'all can keep it lit. Like, y'all keep it lit because you've been talking to me for a long time. Did you ever patch things up with WAC 100? There was a whole lot of social media talk going on there. Haven't heard anything in a while. Thoughts? Um, I'm in the streets with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like social media talk. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you did. You mostly ignored that, it seemed like. Yeah, because I'm in the streets with it. Mm. I'm in the streets when I'm not in the streets. I got my niggas on my behalf in the streets. You know what I'm saying? But mm. when you see me in the streets, I'm in the streets with it. But yeah, you know, this is one thing that he could really teach you guys is how to not answer a question while still answering the question. Oh God, that nigga's you know, magnificent. He's, he's that, that was amazing. Now this is a learning lesson for us. Bobby Bobby Weed Weed there, you know? Oh God. <laughs> Y'all niggas crazy. <laughs> the we be too honest. We be like, well, look. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> like, this is how I feel. Tell me like, shit. all right, well. But like, I was telling D3, I'm like, you, you, know. you can't beef with anyone who's not on your level. Like, like if if, the, if Bobby down the street is talking shit about you, you can't talk to Bobby. You can only talk to people who are on <laughs> yeah, your level. That's going to benefit so, Bobby, Bobby Mo. Yeah, I might slip up sometime. I ain't going to lie. Oh, God. Like, if, I, if I'm drunk. <laughs> Oh God, I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm on live and I see some little weird shit. It's gonna come to the live, bro. Like, I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna, you know what fuck? You got 400 followers, you know. God, you talking. St mm. That's only when I'm lit, though. Like, I'll off the be. Julio. I'll, I'll tell you. I, I go there. People know you watch bodies. my live videos, you know. I ain't playing. Mm. So it'd be funny, though. I ain't gonna clout nobody up. Like, oh, when we get off live, I'm gonna tag you and shit and all that. Nah, fuck that. It's over with after the live. I feel you. I'm gonna assume. That you're not a big fan of uh, Rainbow Hair Guy's uh, comeback. You I don't even know who you're talking about. <laughs> you tripping. For the record, you used to have his Next face question. up on screen at, the, at, at shows and stuff, Next right? Question. So you can't really say you don't hey, know what you, I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Sure. Where do you get these questions from? Like my mind. Research. Yo, mine is a mother. <laughs> hey, no, Gaggy, you must have this shit playing like I be like, smoking he dope, no, he googling. Not, he messy, hey, bro. Oh, God, that nigga messy. All the, all the messy. He ain't questions. shit. Oh God. He ain't <laughs> shit. That nigga ain't <laughs> shit. Oh God. You go to YouTube, oh, you type YG God. beef, and then you go most shit. recent, and then you sort of stroke your chin and just Look. think, like, what could I say oh, God, to make this fool a little uncomfortable? You know? I ain't like I got this. But hey, to handle that business. He's Man. like the Matrix over here. He's bobbing and weaving through the lasers and shit, surviving. The the, the, the blogs are going to have a hard time even latching on to anything. Like, what are they going to say? Adam22 asked YG about Kamai, and he said like three sentences and then just moved on. Well, I mean, that's that not a really good headline. I said the truth, bro. A very a very vague version of the truth, sure. Because yeah, see, see, see me, this one thing about me, like, nigga ain't going to like me, but a nigga going to have to respect me because I know how to move, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? But a nigga with all the bullshit. But I'm with the real bullshit. I'm not with the with all the rah rah talking like all the shit. I'm 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 with the real shit. So like mm. we could talk about it. It's gonna be respect. But if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. And it's that. Mm. 
But like we don't gotta do all the talking crazy and doing all the shit like that. Like we can do that if it's live in effect. Like if you right here in front of my face, you know. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of funny when you when you look up like news stories about YG. There's a lot of stuff that never really seems like it gets resolved, like like criminal type stuff that you just. It, there's never a follow up article. It just seems like it just vanishes <laughs> into thin air. What, what, how, what to what do you owe that? You got good lawyers. Talk to God and my lawyers, dog, <laughs> and the homies. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. There it is. <laughs> What do we got to look forward to? And when, when you, you, you said previously that you were thinking about dropping one more project and then being done. Every Who's, rapper says that. I don't know if I believe that? that. That was a headline at one point that you, you said that one more cap. album. That was probably some promo shit. Mm. Nah. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that a rapper said that and didn't follow through on it, to be I'll honest. Some promo shit. Okay. I don't know. I ain't never, I don't remember that saying, saying no shit like that. Uh -huh. I was probably talking about, I was. Um, gonna be done with my situation, like um, like I was gonna be out my fucked up deal. You know what I'm saying? With that, I'm out. You know. Um, but yeah, there it is. Anything uh, we should be looking forward to? Man, D3, Miss Day, Salon, 400, um, YG solo shit, Day solo shit. You know what I'm saying? We got we. You know what I'm saying? We cooking. We cooking. Then we got. All my side little ventures, but this ain't about me, man. We've been talking about me a lot, man. Mm. This is about them. You know what I'm saying? Trying to turn them up through these hard, weird ass times. Definitely. You know? Yeah. Can I ask one last question? Streets have been saying that you were thinking about signing Brian Pumper to 400. Is this is this Who? true? Brian Pumper? <laughs> oh, oh wow. Hey. No? I was just that, the streets. The streets told me that. I don't know. That, that nigga Brian. <laughs> that shit fucking stupid. This nigga crazy. Man, you got a bed. Hey, you got to talk to the homie yeah, about that. Nigga. That nigga, oh, hey. <laughs> I, <laughs> King Dingaling. Uh. Nah, no. nah, nah, nah. You got to talk. Nah, that nigga on some other shit. She probably seen him around. Nah, I don't, even, I don't even know who you talking about. No, that nigga, That's Brian good. Pumper used to be walking through the Fox Hill Mall and shit. Like, that nigga crazy. <laughs> yeah, that nigga crazy, dog. Facts. Yeah. Brazy, even. He yeah, crazy with a K all oh, the time. Right, right, right. Okay, there it is. <laughs> YG and the 400 squad. I appreciate y'all for coming D3, through, man. Sir. D3, Mitch, Mitch and Dave. Yes, sir. Remember the names, bro. I know their names. Oh, I interviewed yeah, two like thirds of them already. <laughs> like, we've been here already. I met Mitch. What are you talking about? Slick Mitch. Yeah, he came hello. to the trenches. <laughs> he said, hello. Yeah, yeah, I came to the trenches. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did go to I'm the trenches. Hey, we in the Folsom. We got this NL story. Pulled up. He in the Pulled up. Yeah. But like naked. it was nothing, huh? I had my peoples with me, though. It was good. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Crazy. He had his people. He had a caravan AD. AD the homie. I'm just saying, I'm 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 too much of a YouTuber to carry the blower, so I had to. You know, <laughs> I'm too much of a YouTuber. Hey, he being honest though, he being weird. Man, I know some YouTubers that got blickies. I ain't gonna. Lie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm not gonna name him either, but yeah. <laughs> YG, yeah, sure. 400, Day Salon, Mitch, Day, D3, No Jumper, Coolest Podcast in the World. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, Nojumper.com if you want to support. Find me on Hey, don't make no crazy Shut ass headlines in the video. Like, you know how you be like. We'll see what we can cook up. Yeah, don't do no crazy headlines <laughs> on YouTube. Let's see what we can Come take on. out of context. Yeah. Do some G shit. You got to do some G oh, shit. We in the big leagues. No yeah. message shit. We in the big leagues like big OT. Oh, Black. <laughs>